Array methods are an essential part of JavaScript and can help you take your code to the next level. With the right array methods, you can accomplish complex tasks quickly and efficiently. They also make your code more readable and maintainable, reducing the amount of code you need to write and making it easier to understand. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to brush up on your skills, understanding and mastering array methods will help you write better code. Let's get started. To start out, I have an array of users. They have name, age, and a list of friends. Let's start with the filter method. Here we are going to filter all the users that are older than 20. As with most array methods, filter takes a callback function that decides what remains in the newly created array by returning a boolean. Next is the map method. It creates a new array with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the original array. Here I am returning the name of the user for each user, so I end up with an array of just the names. Reduce is one of the tougher ones. With it, you can basically reduce an array to any type including another array, but it can also be a string, an object, a number, anything. Reduce takes in a callback as the first parameter and the initial value as the second. It then iterates over every item in the array and returns the accumulated value to the next iteration. Here I implement a map using the reduce function that generates a welcome message for every user. Of course, this should be done with the previously used map method. I just wanted to illustrate that you can also do it with reduce. Just as an exercise, try to implement the filter method using reduce. Next up is the find method. This one returns the first element for which the callback function returns true. Notice I have two Peters in the array, however, the find method only returns the first. Every and sum are very helpful in order to express conditions in a more expressive way. I want to know if every user has at least a friend. See how this code snippet reads almost like the spoken language? The sum method checks if the callback returns true for at least one element of the array. In this case, I am checking if there's at least a user named Peter. Sort is a tricky one. Be careful as this one mutates the original array in place. It does return the sorted array, but it is just a reference to the original array, which is now sorted. This basically compares elements to each other and rearranging them, which can be pretty slow for large datasets. If you are interested in the concept of immutability and want to learn more advanced stuff, check out my video on functional programming. So let me comment the sort operation so that it doesn't mess with my original dataset. For each is the most straightforward. It executes a callback for every element in the array. Let's now look at includes, index of, and find index. Let's see if the number array includes the number 2. And obviously it does. Let's see the index of number 3 in the array. And it correctly shows 2. And as you can see, if the item doesn't exist in the array, you get an index of minus one. Let's find the index of the user in the array whose name is Peter, and it correctly shows the index one. Now let's flatten an array using the flat method. So you have a nested array like this one, and you want to flatten it. If you apply the flat method to it, it will flatten one level. The flat method can also take a parameter, and that is how many levels deep should it attempt to flatten. By default, it's one. But as you can see, we can provide any number of levels. Flat map is is a nice one, but in order to understand it properly, let's try to solve the same problem in a number of ways. Say for example we want to get all the friends of the users in the array. For the first attempt, let me implement it using reduce. So I use an empty array as the initial value since I want an array as a result. Then for each iteration, I want to combine the friends accumulated so far with the current iteration user's friends and return the new array. Another way to implement this would be to map over every user and extract the array of friends, resulting in an array of arrays which we can then flatten. This is exactly what flatmap does. You can do both of these actions in a single function call. Say I wanted only the unique names. I can do that using sets. Just like an array, a set is a collection of elements. However, the set can only contain unique elements. Once we created the set, we can then convert it back to an array by destructuring it and placing it in this new inline array. And there you have it. These are, in my opinion, the most essential JavaScript array methods. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.